Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. Make your point, Harry. Um, Mr. Speaker. Um, Inga iwi o tēnei kareimi, uh, ngā iwi o te tau ihu, uh, nau mai, nau mai, haere mai. Haere mai ki tēnei whare, ki tō whare, ki tātou whare, te whare pārimata o Aotearoa. Nō reira, o kurau, ringa, uh, o kurau rangatira mā, kui mā, koro mā, kei te mihi, kei te mihi, kei te mihi. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I join with all members of this House in supporting uh, the introduction of Te Tau Ihu Claim Settlement Bill for its second reading. Mr Speaker, Labour believes in building a future for all. Labour believes in an economy that works for all New Zealanders. Labour believes in a fair and just society we all live in dignity. Labour believes in an environment we protect and in a nation that we can be proud of. Mr Speaker, in the introduction of this bill, I believe wholeheartedly that Ngā Iwi or Te Tau Ihu will be able to build that very future for their own. They'll be able to build an economy that not only works for their people, but for all New Zealanders. Ngā Iwi or Te Tau Ihu will also be able to build a fair and just society where their own people and others will live in dignity. And Mr Speaker, I believe they will build an environment that they will protect. And finally, Mr Speaker, I believe wholeheartedly that Ngā Iwi o Te Tau Ihu will build a nation that they can be proud of. Uh, Mr Speaker, I stand in consolidation with all members of this House in supporting this important bill, Te Tau Ihu Claim Settlement Bill. And can I acknowledge the efforts and role of the negotiators. Uh, for the Minister of Treaty Settlements, the Honourable Chris Finlinson, and of course the role of the Māori Effects Select Committee uh, for the work throughout the Select Committee process, both down in Nelson and also here in Wellington. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, there is a uh, uh, obviously, in a uh, joined up or large settlement such as this, there are a lot of compromises and challenges uh, that go on behind the scenes to get to this stage. And so it is with a lot of, um, uh, I guess, personal experience uh, being a mandated negotiator uh, for the Rōng Whakata claims that that is not often an easy challenge to overcome. Um, often our people uh, are, f are forced uh, in terms of time and, of course, with resources. But the way in which I believe uh, the people of Te Tau Ihu, the iwi of Te Tau Ihu, have shown the humility, the dignity, the patience and the perseverance to get us here, I believe what I see in front of us in the introduction of this bill second time, Mr Speaker, is an acknowledgement of all those combined efforts and commitments. So again, uh, Mr Speaker, um, I join in celebrating uh, this bill in its second reading. So to the bill itself, Mr Speaker, uh, Te Tau Ihu Claim Settlement Bill is an omnibus bill. It's comprising four components three of which are claim settlement bills which seek to give effect to the deeds of settlement entered into by the Crown. With Ngāti Upper, ki te rā tō, Ngāti Kuia, Rangitāne o Wairau, Ngāti Koata, Ngāti Rā Rua, Ngāti Tama ki te tau ihu, Te Ati Awa o Te Waka a Māui, and Ngāti Tō Rangatira. For the final settlement, of the historic claims for breaches of the Treaty of Waitangi. The fourth component bill provides Ngāti Tō Rangitira with a contribution right in relation to the very famous haka kamate. The eight deeds provide for settlement of all historic claims in the top of the South Island, an area referred to as Te Tau Ihu or Te Waka Māui. The Ngāti Tō Rangatira deed also provides for the settling of all of Ngāti Tō Rangatira's historical claims in the North Island. The, the bill includes only those elements of the redress 
in the settlement package that require legislative authority. The deeds of settlement set out in full the redress provided for the eight iwi in settlement to all their historic Treaty of Waitangi claims. Mr Speaker, um, it wouldn't give me justice to go to each part of the bill. Suffice to acknowledge, um, and I'd like to take this time to reflect on all the iwi and giving a brief uh, background to them in, in a way of uh, supporting the, the second reading. Um, can I turn to Ngāti Appa ki te rā tō? Um, Ngāti Appa ki te rā tō has customary interests in Te Tau Ihi or Northern Southern Island region. Around 700 people registered an affiliation to Ngāti Appa in the 2006 census. The Waitangi Tribunal heard the Te Tau Ihu claims of all iwi with interest in the North Northern South Island between August 2000 and March 2004, and released preliminary reports in 2008, 2007, and a final report in November 2008. On the 23rd of November 2005, the previous Minister in charge of Treaty of Waitangi negotiations and the Minister of Māori Affairs recognised the mandate of the Kura Haupō Kita Waipaunamu Trust to represent Ngāti Awa and two other iwi in negotiating a comprehensive historic treaty settlement. The Crown signed terms of negotiations with the Kura Haupō Trust in June 2006. And Mr Speaker, on the 11th of February 2009, the Crown and Kura Haupō Trust co-signed a letter of agreement. So, to Ngāti Appa ki te rā tō, kei te mihi, kei te mihi, kei te mihi. We turn to Mr Speaker Ngāti Kuia, and in terms of a background, Ngāti Kuia has customary interest in Te Tau Ihu of Northern South Island region. Around 1,600 people have registered an affiliation to Ngāti Kuia in the 2006 census. The Waitangi Tribunal heard the Te Tau Ihu claims of all iwi with interest in the Northern South Island between August 2000 and March 2004 and released preliminary reports in 2007 and final report in 2008. I note here that the terms of negotiations with Kura Haupō Trust in 2006 and in February 11, 2009, the Crown and Kura Haupō Trust co-signed a letter of agreement. Mr Speaker, I want to acknowledge Rangi Tāne or Wairo. Uh, who hold customary interests in Te Tai Ihu or Northern South Island region. Around 1,000 people registered in affiliation to Rangitane in 2006 census. Mr Speaker, I knew if I started going down this track I will run out of time um, in acknowledging all the iwi. Um, suffice to say, Te Ngāti Kuata, Ngāti Rārua, Ngāti Tama ki Te Tai, tai Ihu, Te Atiawa o Te Waka a Maui, can I again uh, commend you for the efforts and the mahi that you have that displayed in bringing this bill to this House uh, with the support of um, clearly the Minister of Treaty uh, uh, Negotiations and the uh, work of the Māori Affairs Select Committee. I join with all members on, uh, in this House and particularly on this side in commending this bill to its second reading. Nō reira, tēnā tātou, tēnā tātou, tēnā tātou. Mr Speaker. Chris Ockenvall. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I would uh, like to...